Hey Hebrew fans, we'll see if we can get this going. It looks like there's some issues with it stopping and restarting. So hopefully we can get this working. So let me know how it sounds on your side. Let me check my volume over here. Let's see what we got going on. All right, that sounds pretty good. All right, so hopefully we can keep our connection. Let's see who's on here. Jeff, we got Jinx Caliber, we got Mike Fee, we got Cal, we got Juan Soto, we got a lot of people. Lots of people here. Dynas, Dire, Dyrness. All right, so um, as you guys know, there's lots of cool figures coming out and uh, I'm excited about this like everybody else is too. And let's go ahead and first talk about uh, Masterverse figures coming out and then we'll jump into the Origins figures. Now, I, I went to Big Bad Toy Store because that's where I go to get all my stuff. And we, when I opened this up this morning, I was like, Whoa, look at all these cool things they got. I couldn't believe um, all the cool stuff that was going on here. So, first up we have uh, Beast Man from the movie. So let's go ahead and open him up. We got Cyclone. We got um, Leech. We got Hordak. We got Thunder Punch He-Man. We got Skeletor with Havoc Throne. And I think that is it that's on Big Bad Toy Store. Now, there are some other figures, too, that are not being released right now today. But these are the ones... Oh, disconnecting. Let me know if you guys still can hear me and stuff. Well, this is reconnection successful. All right, so first off, we have the movie Beast Man. And I think it's pretty cool looking the way they have him. And they only have two pictures to show. This one with the gray background and then this is white background it's the exact same thing but uh i'm definitely getting him because you guys know i have all the classic movie figures so this will go right into my classics bada bing bada boom now i'll have beast man and uh i like the way they did his fur it looks really cool it's not very cartoony looking and uh i'm really looking forward to this figure how about you guys do you guys care about the 1987 movie figures it's like yeah i want to get these or not oh streams going strong great yeah as well um, from the movie. That'd be cool. Alright. Hey! Trent made it to a live showing. Trent, thanks for joining us. That's awesome. Right, so, we have Beast Man. And next we have Cyclone. Now you guys know I'm a Cyclone fan. Hey, is, is my stream still going good? Let me know if it starts going cattywampus on us because I'll change uh, networks. Um, so, um, you guys know I like Cyclone. But... I'm looking at this figure, and I'm not really totally digging it. I know it sounds funny because I like Cyclone a lot, but I'm just not liking the yellows the way they have them and the other colors on there too. What do you What do you guys think? Do you like? Actually, he looks like Tron there, with that little shield on his back and this helmet. So, okay, Cal says it's buffering for him. Let's see, action figure guy says. I might get Cyclone. Nice. Yep, I, I actually passed on him, just like Mike did, believe it or not. Even though he does look cool, um, but I already got a classic Cyclone, and he works just good enough. So I am fine. But he does look kind of cool. If you don't have a Cyclone already, he'd be a great pickup. Getting him myself. Let's see. Okay, Trent, thanks for that. I appreciate that. Jeff, it's still buffering. I'm gonna try switching networks really quick and see if that helps the problem. Hold on a second. Hold up. Let me go ahead and stick on my two minute countdown while you guys are watching that. Burp, burp, burp. And network. And let's change the surveillance man. Let's see if it changes. All right, hopefully that's smoother than last time, so we'll see. All right, let me go back. Ah, it's still disconnecting and reconnecting. I don't get what's going on, it's not my network. No! Is it worse now? 
I'm going to have to update my OBS, I think, before I continue on making these videos. All right. So, next up to Cyclone, we have... Oh, we have the Evil Horde Leech. Leech, Leech. Now, at first, I was like, nah, not going to get him. But you know what? I did put him in my list of pre-order stuff. He is pretty cool looking. I love his head. That head is so cool looking. That's the leech head I've always wanted. And I like his little hands, the way they made him, a little, you know, stuff on it. And I'm hoping he'll be gigantic. I'm hoping he's like, like beast man size, you know, whoa, that'd be really cool if he was big, like beast man size or something. That would be cool. And, uh, he has some little whip thing coming out of his wrist. And then he has his, uh, other weapon. I just was never really satisfied with the leech we got with classics. They just made him too too skinny across the chest. It was really strange looking. He turned sideways, he'd kind of vanish on you. He just never worked right, but he looks like he's pretty beefy up on the chest. So, yeah, this will be, I think it'd be a cool figure to get. So, I am getting, <laughs> he's a break dancer. Brecken Tonson. All right. Not a fan of the little horde symbol on his whip tool, but ah, that's okay. They, they kind of go crazy on the horde symbols on everything. Oh, so for you guys, is it a... Uh, oh, Juan Solo said, I pre-ordered everything. Um, Mike Fee said, I ordered him also. I can't wait for Leech Pop. Yes. James Caliber said, so far it seems better. Leech is cool. So far, so good. Yes. And it's funny, he has two shoulder caps. In classics, you only give him one shoulder cap, but I went and got two of them and put two shoulder caps on mine. So I'm glad he has the two shoulder caps. I'm guessing the shoulder cap is connected to the armband, is what I'm guessing here. So I'm thinking that you can't have the armband and not have the shoulder caps on. Yeah, it looks like it's an in in integral part of the armband. Not bad, though. Still cool. Cool, cool. Alright, next we have <clears throat> Hordak, Hordak. Bum ba dum, bum ba dum. Now you guys know I'm not normally a Hordak fan, but you know what? This one's not too bad. He doesn't have the weird red teeth that we usually see with Hordak, and he actually looks different enough than Skeletor, and I like his little flame things he has on his wrists. And uh I do kind of like the aesthetic look they gave him. Um if I held him up and showed someone, they wouldn't say Oh, that's, that's just another Skeletor, which is what I used to always get from the other Hordak. What's strange is his hands are the same skin tone as his face. Not blue and not um, gray. So, interesting choice with the cartoon when they did that. I thought that was really interesting. But I'm, I'm not getting him. Sorry, you guys. He's not on my list. Is anybody else going to get uh, Hordak? Hey, uh, the times. Hey, toys, the time's gone by. Thanks for joining us. Gnomeski, he says, I do like that Hordak. Who's this dude again? <laughs> Let's see, I, I'm not normally a Hordak fan, but I own every Hordak figure. <laughs> I'm not getting this one. So, there you go. But I do have a lot of Hordak figures, you are right. All right. Yes, he does look pretty cool. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not usually a Hordak fan. Oh, that's funny. Okay, next we have Thunder, Thunder, Thunder Punch He Man. All right. Um, I'm usually loving Thunder Punch He Man. I really like the, the the 12 inch Thunder Punch He Man we got with the Mondo stuff, and I like the Thunder Punch He Man we got with Origins. But I'm just not digging this one. I don't get what's 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 with the face sculpt. I think you've seen this face before, but it's not the face that matches the other He-Man figure for the 40th anniversary. And this one's based on New Eternia. It's not from the cartoon. So I don't get why they're not sticking with the same head. And it's not even that great of a head. It's the same one we saw with the... Was it the Battle Armor one that had a head like this? I don't remember. But yeah, I'm just, just not digging the head. And the armbands... What's with the armbands? I mean, I could see for laser-powered He-Man, you have the armbands because it has the electricity going down it and stuff. But for him, does he have special things that go boom and make it punch harder? You know, bop, bop, bop. You know, kind of wondering about that. But 
it's like, I don't know. At least give him a clear sword, right? I mean, you do have the punch things. Look, it's both his hands punch. Not just one thunder punch. Not just the right thunder punch, but the left too. He's going to be the left hook. But it's a no for me. How about you guys? Let's take a look. I pre ordered Thunder Punch He Man. His head looks a little bit off, says Action Figure Guy. Um, Toys with Time on By says, I like the Thunder Punch one. I ordered him. Um, it was Faker. Oh, Faker had that head. You know, look, his head here looks different than uh, the other head they show. This one, he's got like some dark eyeshadow on or something, or eyeliner, where this one. He does not. It's kind of weird the difference how they look. Different prototypes, I guess. Let's see. Juan Solo says that face looks like he's in a panic. Let's see. Uh, Go Knight uh, 321 says, might get it still. Oh, um, he might get it. He's still on the fence. That He Man will need to speak to your manager. <laughs> Hey, Teal, thanks for joining us. Bat fan, thanks for being here. Nice. All right, but I do like that he has two Thunder Punch things. It's kind of fun. He kind of reminds me of, uh, oh, what is his name? Oh, what is his name? It's driving me crazy now. Uh, Marvel Comics. He has, he has the Flaming Fist. Uh, and he has the dragon tattoo on his chest. Oh, what is his name? Somebody help me. Uh, they made they made a Netflix show about him, too. He was part of the Defenders. Iron Fist! Yes, thank you. Yeah, he kind of reminds you of Iron Fist with the two fists of fury going on there. And uh, as a kid, believe it or not, I actually liked Iron Fist, even though I can't remember his name. But, uh, you know, I liked Iron Fist as a kid. And so I actually enjoyed the Netflix show because it's Iron Fist and Iron Fist is Iron Fist. Even though I know everyone else hated it. But I actually enjoyed Iron Fist on Netflix. Let's see. Juan Solo says, I don't like his loincloth. Yeah, the cuts on the side are kind of weird how it goes so high. But I know it's so the legs can move better. Wait, does he have double jointed or single jointed elbows? Oh, double jointed elbows. Interesting. Interesting. I have to go back and look at the other ones. Single or double? Double. All right. Double. Single. Single jointed elbows for Beast Man. Hooray! All right. Hordak. Looks like double jointed. Yep, double jointed. He's double jointed, man. Okay. Let's continue on. Okay, look at this. Look at look at this. Look at this. This is so cool. I of course pre-ordered this. I know I already have enough of the bone thrones, but I had to get this one. It comes with Skeletor 2. It lights up with the flames in front. I think this drops a little far down. Oh, is that stairs? You know what? I think that's a step right there. I didn't think it was at first. Sit, look at the 45 degree angle and see if we can tell. I guess it's not really a step. It's more like just a little little lip there. But uh, I suppose it, he can put his tiptoe on that step to get up there. But uh, this is cool. This is cool. When I get this, this is going inside my Super 7 uh, um, um, Snake Mountain. The other one's getting getting tossed. Not tossed, but just taken out. I'll, of course, save it somewhere special so I can put it back in someday. So cool. Oh, oh red flames too, so the colors change. Is that remote control or just a button on it? I wonder. And look, he is he doesn't have his hood on. So this, this Skeletor can become hoodless. It's the hoodedless Skeletor. And I don't care about the big old extra cape. It just looks weird anyway. But, uh... It has a stake snap staff, and it has the horde uh, havoc staff, extra hands, and of course the light makes the color flame. So very cool. I definitely I only ordered one. 
I know I should probably order more. Who else got this? Let's take a look. Um, Mr. Mad said he ordered two. Gnomeski, it's a Viking Skeletor with a different head. Yeah, I think you're right, but the Viking Skeletor had different color skin, too. He had like a kind of a greenish blue. So they changed the skin tone, which you're right, the armor and stuff is definitely him. Let's see, Cal Ness says, I'm getting that throne. His head is incredible. Uh, Batfan says, uh, the Skeletors were the best of the reveals. Yes, I want Skeletor. Not sure. Uh, room for the throne, says Action Figure Guy. Let's see. Yes, the throne is quite amazing. That is so cool. So cool. All right, let's go ahead and close these tabs. And let's dive into Origins. Origins. Let's see what they have here. Okay, what the heck? We'll open the turtles too. Why the heck not? Did I open this one already? I'll open it again just in case. Casey Jones, Web Store, a Snake Guy. This is the reissue, not gonna open that one. Uh, Evil Lynn, oh, the two pack, oh, the collector, the merman, the skitty tour. We've already seen mer, we've already seen, uh, oh, what the heck, open him anyway. No, I'm not opening him. And the rest I think we've seen. Have you seen this one? Yeah, I think we have. Uh, I'll open them anyway. Okay. What the heck? Let's go through these. You know what? I'm opening Beast Man too. Beast Man! Kachink. What? Oh, it's just the multi language package versus the US packaging. How weird. How weird is that? Okay, let's go through these. First up, we have the blonde turtle. Now people are hoping that the wig is going to be removable from what I understand. And at first people thought it was battle armor because the way this thing looks on his chest. But actually, we take a look at it. This is, I believe, our our um, our uh, um, spinning He-Man armor. You can see that it has this here and has that there. But this is not usually there. So it must be a new mold because of that. But because it has this and that, it's actually more like this, the um, spin blade. Is that what it's called? Oh, the wig is removable. Nice. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Doom. Bald head. So that's, that's a fun. Wait a second. Oh, they put the wig on sideways to give it a blown look. That is hilarious. So, okay, I, I do like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to a point. They're not my favorite, uh, and it is fun they mix these with Masters of the Universe, but I am personally not going to buy a bunch of these. How about you guys? Flying Fist, thank you. Um, let's see. Teal says, I like the new... Oh, yeah. Uh, um, I don't mind the look of the new Cyclone figure. He does look like a mix of the old Buck Rogers and Tron. He does. Unique and unusual. All right. So who's planning on getting Michelangelo? Oh, you got Tila. Nice. All right, let's move on to the next one. And here is the Turtles of Grayskull Tila. And at first glance, I was going to get this figure. I'm like, this is cool. I love the green on her. It, it kind of has a cool throwback to, uh, um, oh, oh. Uh, Shirella. Um, granted, she didn't have this much green on her, but she had some green on her. And I just liked the look at first. At first. Until I started going through the pictures. So let's go through the pictures together. Look at that massive sword. And so we have the massive sword. And then we have her uh, massive sword and shield. These little holes in the back for her shield to pop onto so she can have a turtle back. Which is always kind of fun. And here she has the helmet on. But here's the part that threw me. Look at that face. Oh. When her helmet is off, 
she just looks horrible. I don't know what they were thinking. And I thought, you know what? I don't need another Tila. I don't need another Tila. Anyway, so I uh, decided not to get her. I did uh, have her in my cart for a sour grapes Tila. I had her in my cart for like a minute or two. And then I saw this picture and I was like, oh, no, no. They ruined her. Yeah. But with the helmet on, she doesn't look too bad. Because you don't, you don't, I don't know what it is, but all of a sudden the helmet off, her eyes just look, is, is it the eyebrows? I don't know. Is it the tall forehead? I don't know what it is, but it just, it just looks so different with her. You know, it might even be a prototype different. Look, these lips here are pink, and these lips here are more burgundy with less paint on them. So there might be two different painted heads. And it's like, which one are you going to get? You, do you get this one? Is this the prototype? Or is this one the prototype? So, yeah, because here she doesn't look too bad. So I'll be anxious to see how she comes out, actually, when pe people, people start getting her. And I might go back and get her if she's still available, if, if she looks cool or not. So we'll see. We shall see. So who else got her? Let's see. Action figure guy said I still got her. I'll wait to get some of them. Uh, she needs a paper bag. <laughs> Toys with Tom's got by said I didn't get her. Uh, let's see. I'll probably just get Splin uh, Splinter. All right. Mike says pass. The eyes are different with the helmet are bigger. Yeah, yeah. The eyes are bigger here. And here they're just like little beanie eyes. Kind of like what we, we saw at the He-Man. Is when we saw the Thunder Punch He-Man, his eyes looked different when he got to the last picture. So I'm guessing they're different prototypes and one might be the released figure. Even the chains here are gold. And here they're more brown. Kind of more of a, of a um, copper instead of the gold. So I'm guessing uh, this is probably the, the Paint Master. And this is probably what we're going to get. Yeah, their cuffs here are silver. Wow. They're silver and they're gold. Something's not coming up right. Well, if she comes out looking like this, I do, I do want her. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking this gold one, because her skin looks more pinkish too. I'm thinking this is for the two pack, the one that came with Zor. And they just threw the armor on the Zor figure. And uh, this is what we'll be getting. Because it's silver, different color. The skin tone is, is a better skin tone. It's not all pinkish. It looks like their, their arms twisted backwards on this one too. Yeah, I think they just have it turned around. Because once they turn it around right, you can see this more bent here. And this is the stopping point. So it's got to go whoop, flip around. Flip around. All right. Let's move on. Stratos. Yep. Not getting him. I want to know. Did anybody else pick up Stratos? Yeah, the silver cuffs do look better. Your video keeps freezing. Is anybody else's video freezing? Or is it just... Let's see, Haggis says he got him. Cal Ness said no. Mike said yes. Got him already says time's gone by. All right, let's continue on. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on him. Droop. Triclops, reissue. Yes, I got him. I want to drill holes in his eyes, and I want to put little laser beams coming out of his eyes. And so to do that, I need another one. I need another one so I can customize. Oh, I opened one twice. I want another one so I can customize. All right. What is this? Casey Jones. Okay, um, Hordax legs. Some regular arms. 
That looks like he's Ram Man's face almost. This is cool. It's the other side of the of the um, chopper hand. So you have two chopper hands. I gotta admit, his head's pretty cool looking. Like this, he looks like some cool townie. And so I could see getting this guy just to be a random guy in town. Not to be Casey Jones, but just some random, random guy that He-Man happens to save. That is a lot of arsenal he's hanging on to there. Oh yeah, he has the hockey mask normally. Okay, I, I, I'm i picking up what they're laying down. The hammer looks cool. I did not get him. Let's see if anybody else got him. Uh, Go Knight 321 says I got him for parts. Uh, Mike says I sent you some pictures, Todd, of the new stuff. Nice. Thanks, Mike. I thought he would be deluxe. He comes with so much stuff. How much is he? Let's take a look here. Joop. Well, that's not too bad. He is $20.99. He is the lower grade price for all that stuff. That's not bad. You get a cool townie and a whole bunch of stuff to go with it. I mean, he looks like a generic figure. And sometimes it's fun to have some generic figures just so you can have guys that is just out there as, you know, fodder. He'd be a great, a great fodder figure. All right. Casey Jones. Where am I here? Here we are. Next one over. The Cartoon Webster. Okay. I have no intention of getting this Webster. I love the Origins Webster we already got. I'm not a huge fan of the Filmation head. Sorry, you guys. Not a fan of the Filmation body. Sorry, you guys. His hook is cool. And I like his extra little cat that he comes with. The cat that gets stolen. That's cool. So if I was going to get him, I would snag the cat out of the bag and or box. And then I would uh, sell the figure. That's, that's how it would go. Come here, kitty kitty. He's going to chase down the, the um, statue. Let's see. Flounder says, I passed on Webstore. Let's see, Jeff says Grunkin. Skipped on these and the, all the snakes. Webster will be mine, says Action Figure Guy. That's funny. Yes. Looks like it's coming out of his ear, the back of his head. Whoop. The hook is cool. Yep. All right. On to the next one. Uh, snake guy. I gotta admit, the snake guy is pretty cool looking. I do like how he looks. Am I gonna get him? No. Not gonna get him. He's a very generic looking snake guy. I don't know if I like his head. His head being a different color than the rest of his body is just kind of weird. It looks like somebody popped on the wrong head onto the body. I like his tail. The tail is really cool. But he does look like a figure somebody just threw together. Like, hey, we got some parts. Give him a, a triclop sword and give him that, uh, Ram Man's axe. and uh, toss, a, toss a snake head on him. Put some armor on him and give him uh, the shield that came with King Hiss. I mean, he looks very tossed together, especially the tail coming out of the shorts. It looks like someone has plastered the tail on, on a pair of shorts. As opposed to having it come out of the shorts. It just feels like it's been attached. Like it's, like it's a really good custom. right? If I was to see someone make this custom, I'd say, great job. Cool custom. I like them. Excellent job on the tail sculpting. But as far as a production figure goes, yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not buying it. Let's see you guys' things. Are these Galaxy Warriors? Hey. You know, he does look like a Galaxy Warrior. No, I don't think he is. That's funny. That's a, that's a good put. Triclop Sword. Alright. On to the next one. 
Evil Lynn. Now you guys know I always love me some Evil Lynn whenever I can get a hold of an Evil Lynn figure. I have all kinds of Evil Lynn figures. They are some of my favorites. And, uh, um, wow. What's going on with this knee here? They changed the knee for the filmation ones. They messed it up again. It's not as messed up as the first release, but it's more messed up than... Yeah. No! Just stick with what, what works. She's a pass. I'm not going to get this evil in. Not a fan of her face. Not a fan of her knees. Not a fan of the lack of detail. But I guess that's what the cartoon's for. Even though they have lack of detail where else, her boots have extra detail. And it's like, why the the difference between that? And why why the new knees? She's not yellow. She's lightning. Lightning. Evil Lightning Lynn. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of her face. That face. That face. Yeah. Nope. It's a pass. I got Evil Lynn. She needs a cape. She does need a cape. Filmation, Evil Lynn has a black cape. She needs a black cape. You are right, sir. She looks like Snow White's stepmom. You know what in fun, too? In the Filmation cartoon, she had an, uh, a flat top, white grayish hair. Um, it should have given her that alternate Filmation head. That would have been at least a little bit of a selling point. That's funny. Butterface. The cat and the spider. Yes. All right. On to the next one. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I have wanted a good Cringer for so long. They gave us a teaser of Cringer. And, uh, and then they, uh, um, um, with classics. And then we ended up uh, not having it articulated. And as you guys know, I made my own Cringer head. And of course, this one's not painted. That you're supposed to put on Battle Cat. And I bought a whole bunch of Battle Cat so I could sell these. And I have like six unopened Battle Cats in my room to stick these heads on. Now, one thing I'm not a huge fan of this Cringer, and that's his chin hairs hanging down. They just look a little bit too long for me. But you can see when this was made, it doesn't have quite the long chin going down. But the more I look at it, the more I'm getting used to it. And I like the different Prince Adam heads that it comes with. I'm a... Uh, actually kind of excited about getting this one i i am gonna get uh <laughs> the surprise cringer ah it's when he oh yeah when he's looking up it looks great straight on it looks really weird don't hit me with your lightning bolt prince adam so of course we already got a prince adam and this prince adam only came in a two pack as well it came with prince adam and the sky sled which kind of stinks is because when you have sky sleds you want a bunch of them for the good guys and bad guys. But how many Prince Adams could you have? They should have done was given us the Sky Sled with the Horde Trooper. Then we can build a bunch of Horde Troopers and a bunch of Sky Sleds. Of course, then everybody would be mad because you couldn't get a Horde Trooper and you got a Sky Sled. But anyway, they should have given us some other army builder that we could have used with the Sky Sled. Maybe the Sky Sled and maybe two of, of uh, um, Skeletor's robots, that, that those hover bots. You know, that would have been cool even. But... Anyway, I got a bunch of Prince Adams because I got extra Sky Slits at one time. But, he is really cool looking. Um, the Prince Adams okay. I like his alternate head. But, I really like the Cringer. And, I actually got three of these on order. I ordered three. And, uh, yeah, Sky Slit and a Royal Guard. Mike, that would have been perfect. A Sky Sled and a Royal Guard. Yes. Um... I ended up getting three of these because I'm going to put one with my classics and do a little bit, bit of extra paint on them for detail. One I'm going to keep my origins and one I'm going to toss in my original figures when I was a kid. Um, Prince Adam needs a cringer. So that's why I got three. 
Yes, that would have been sweet for sure. That would have been the best way, Jason. Mike, Mike, you are a genius. Whoever puts these pictures together, they must have a fun time making them. I mean, this is a good picture. It's so it just shows the relationship between Cringer and Prince Adam. So cool. Mike got two of these. Let's see. They need to do those Cringer legs for Panther and Battle Cat. Yes. Yes, they're much more articulated than these. What's weird is, is obviously this is the filmation one, so it's not furry on the outside, but this has the fur. I kind of wish they would have gone a little bit of fur, even though it's filmation, just to give it a little bit of, but it's okay. I, I can handle without the fur. I can live. Oh, so cool. So cool. Is this tongue green? That's probably just the articulation point inside his head. So somebody keeps saying that um, the gray pictures are the um, prototypes and the white pictures are the released ones. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which are which. I guess we'll find out. We'll see if Tila has silver gauntlets or, or gold gauntlets when you get her. I'm guessing they're going to have the silver gauntlets when you get her. But we'll see. So cool. Yep. Yep, yep. Probably my favorite release. All right, on to the next one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at this. How many years, how many years have we been asking for this? If it's three figures, three, one, two, three. That's so cool. And I'm hoping there's enough leg room to fit a bigger figure, like a classics figure. That'd be cool. I may have to readjust the seats or something or figure something out to make this work for classics because this has got to work for classics. I've got to figure out a way to make this thing work for classics. It is so cool. Um, I had no desire to own a collector. When people talk about it, I'm like, yeah, I don't care. I don't care. don't want it. Don't need it. Don't need a collector. But uh, now granted, it's much smaller than it was in the cartoon, but it's still a pretty big, beefy piece of machinery. And with the, with the three seats, that's pretty cool. Now granted, once you collect somebody for the collector, um, there's no room to put your prisoner, but still, I like the way his arms go in and out too, and it has little blasts in the front. That's so cool. So cool. Look how long they made this look in the picture. Where here, it's like it's a little bit, I, don't, I mean, this could go longer. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it does go a lot longer. I just can't tell from the angle. Interesting. Now, here's what the crazy part about this is. When you see this, holds three figures, something you wanted for a long time, articulated arms, laser blasts, a clear visor for the eyes, large scale, I'm guessing this would be, you know, 60, 70 bucks, right? Check this out, check this out. I cannot believe the price on this for those that haven't seen it yet. Bam. 45 bucks. It's like 45 bucks for that? That's that's a steal almost. I couldn't believe when I saw the price was so low. Let's see. Jason says waiting on for the sales on this too. Yeah, I mean, if it was a one-seater, sure, I could see it being, you know, 25, 30 bucks. But 45 if it's three figures, that's pretty cool. What? $39.99 on Amazon. Oh, I'm going to have to cancel my order and get that. Of course, Amazon's dropped things before. I wonder if those blast effects fit trap jaw. Good question. It's cool. Yes, I pre-ordered it. I may have to go back and pre-order it on Amazon, too. 80s Adventures. Oh, look at that. Click a tat. Okay, on to the next one. Merman, Merman, Merman. I am a Merman fan. I think Merman's cool. And I, I love the one we got that was the um, uh, Lords something, Power Lords, right? Power Lords, is that what it was? I don't know, Lords of Power, I don't know. Now, now I can't remember. 
You guys will tell me. I think it was Lords of Power. There we go. But I, I, I don't need this. Cool, but not necessary. Let's see. Luis says, I need to have all the mermen. Mermen. And let's see. Jeff says, in case anyone does not know, on the back of the box for the collector is She-Ra and Swift Wind. Oh. Do they show the back on here? No. Nice to know. Nice to know. All right. If they didn't make Battle Ram at, at some point, I'm going to cry like a baby. Vintage Origins is preferable. Yes. A Battle Ram would be cool. And just because they've already made the Sky Jet, don't take and just give us the back half of Battle Ram. That would stink. Because I don't have any Sky Jets left because I, I just kept my old ones from uh, the Vintage line and ended up selling all my uh, Origins ones. I didn't have enough, and it's like, I don't want to keep buying more Prince Adams, so finally I just gave up and stopped buying them. I think I bought like three total. All right, next. Oh, look at this awesome Skeletor. Now, I am really digging the way the Skeletor looks for a number of reasons. One. Every time they give us a really cool Skeletor, like they gave us a, um, a Samurai Skeletor in 2000X, they left his hood on and put the helmet on the top. And that was lame. Snake Skeletor left the hood on and put the snake thing on top. This one, they got rid of the stupid hood and just put the helmet on him. Yes. So much cooler the way they built him and made him. Um, he is really cool looking. I, I personally did not get him. He was in my cart for a few seconds, and I thought, cool, but I don't need him. I don't need him. So I did, I did decide not to get him. But uh, where can I find a Cyclone at a reasonable price? Oh, Charles, that's, that's a tough one. Night Jogger Skeletor. Look at this cool weapon they gave him, too. He's got cool little armbands that are removable. New armor too to boot, and a, a new. Uh, I think we've seen this loin cloth before, haven't we? But still, for him it's new. It'd be cool if the green stuff glowed in the dark. <laughs> if they were to do that too, make the green stuff glow in the dark, that would be awesome. Mike also passed, but it was hard. It was a hard pass, but yeah, I passed it too. Yes, very Shredder inspired. But yeah, I I really like the Skeletor, but yeah, not not gonna get him. Oh, the skirts from Beast Man. That's right. That's where we saw him from the Turtles Beast Man. Thank you. I knew I seen it somewhere. Look at that cool cape. All shredded and winded out. This does not look like an Origins figure. With that cape like that, it looks like I mean, Masterverse or something. And Classics didn't even do ripped up capes like that. That is so cool. Windblown and ripped. That is cool. Anyway, I didn't get him. Didn't get him. $20. 21 Alright, let's see what's next on the docket. Same cape as Stealth He-Man. Yeah, that Stealth He-Man looks pretty cool. I probably want to get him when he comes out. Now, I think this is just a reissue or something. So I'm not going to go through details on him. I don't think he's new. If he is, sorry. I don't care enough. And there's Beast Man. And there is that um, skirt you guys were talking about. And we all have seen him before. All right. One last thing to look at. And this is this really cool website that I found. It's called For Eternia. I should have put a link in the description. And in this website for Eternia, this these people have broken down. I'm not sure who is it. I should the names on here. Here we go. Written by Voodoo Magic Zor, right? Or or AJ. So AJ, excellent job on this. He uh, you can see that we have uh where was that He-Man that I saw? 
Maybe it wasn't here. Anyway, we got the Stranger Things. I could have sworn I saw some disguise He-Man somewhere on one of these. Now I can't find it. Maybe it's on Masterverse. Thunder? Thunder, thunder! Oh, look at this. The Revolution uh, Snake Sorceress. That's cool. Well, where's that disguise He-Man? I could have sworn I saw him. That's Turtles Merman Y Walmart. It's so cool. Stealth Ninja He-Man. I don't see him on here. Yeah, I'm missing it. Okay. Evil Inn, Webster, Spike Or, Clawful, Viper. Oh, Viper. Look at that. Yep, I don't see the stealth He Man. I saw him earlier. Somewhere. I don't know where I saw it. But it did look pretty cool. Nobody wants you, Clawful. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's cool. Is it just me, or does this He-Man look more like the original 80s He-Man? The head. More so than the other head we got. Okay. So let's see if we can find it in this thing called Google. Google. And. Oh, Pixel Dan has the picture. Of course. Okay. Stealth He Man is Tog. Let's see if we can't find this stealth He Man. Images. Oh, there he is. Toy Habits has him. Oh, yeah, look at that. And see, when I saw this stealth He Man, I immediately thought of. Oh, he's got his boot. That's funny. I immediately thought of uh, Powers of Grey Skull, how they have that He Man that, you know, has the mask on and stuff. But yeah, I'll probably pick up the Stealth He-Man for the cool hood. The hoodie. It's kind of cool looking. It's already on eBay? Are you kidding me? Oh, I, I'm going to have to find him. All right. Anyway, I think that is the end of my video. Let's see, Turtles of Grey Skull were earlier announced. That is why Stealth He Man is not there. Okay. Alright. Sorceress April. Yeah, Sorceress April looks really cool. I've seen that Sorceress April, and I'm, it's like, that's, that's a figure I want to get. Was she on our list? I don't think she was on this, no. Let's say stealth, April. Source was April. Whatever. All right. Let's see. You can make He Man exile like the classics one. There you go. There's a new He Man. He Man Stranger Things. Yes. The Stranger Things He Man does look really cool. I think I saw him down here. Down here! Erp. There he is. 
Yep. You got good. You have to get the, get the two pack though if you want to get him. He does look pretty crazy, pretty scary. That's weird. Is is left hand is different than his right hand you can see it's kind of a bigger hand this one's not this one's like beast man's hand strange all right so that is pretty much it you guys um let me check your final comments og new head that's what i was thinking too is a strange thing. Hopefully it won't be a Target exclusive. That would stink if it is. All right. Anyway, you guys, thanks for joining me. And like they say uh, in the 1987 movie, uh, good journey, you guys. Let me go ahead and Darth Vader it out. Let me find my Darth Vader. There he is. And bye now. If you found enjoyment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Do it!